What a fucking na gamer. Hey gamers, it's your boy Mason here to tell you should you buy Black Ops Cold War. Now, I played the beta and I played the alpha. And honestly, I, I quite like the alpha. Um, the movement felt really good, you know, the like the super slide thing they had going on. I loved that. I loved the increased health we got, you know, I felt a bit beefier, I could run across fields and it was fine, you know. Still get killed if you get caught out, but had like a bit of chance. Quite enjoyed that. The new attachments, they some some of them are quite cool. But um most of them they look like they're the exact same thing on everything. Um you know, like every gun has the exact same attachments for every slot, which is something I don't like. Uh, especially in Modern Warfare, you know, I really enjoy those unique attachments that we get. Uh, so, some of the attachments are cool, some of them very lame. Uh, quite, I don't know, it's not, not selling me on it, just off that. Um, but I enjoyed the gameplay. Uh, but then, in the beta, when it was open access, I guess you'd call it, um, on PC and Xbox, that was where things got a bit iffy for me. Um, so the crossplay feels very forced. Uh, it's like default and everything. And I mean, in the beta weekend, we we had a bit of stuff going on in New Zealand, so I guess people weren't playing it as much. But yeah, you couldn't get like just a PlayStation game. Um, so basically, had to go crossplay. Not something I super enjoyed. Um, because let's be real, it's so much easier on PC. Um, especially with the no aim assist on snipers. I never, I never even realized it was there, honestly. Um, just did not think about it. But going from like Modern Warfare to this, you know, you feel a hell of a difference. You know, in Modern Warfare, I'm sniping, you know, you're in Warzone, you do like 200 meters away and it feels fine. But I, I guess there's something there. Um, and it felt really weird. Um, and then you know, sniping in general felt weird. Um, you know, in the, in the Modern Warfare beta, when that came out, I, I was instantly hooked on the sniping AI. That was the biggest selling point for me. Uh, like that one ground war map, and it, it felt just felt really good. Uh, but in Cold War, was not was not enjoying it. Everything felt very hit scan. Even on the fire team map, uh, the fire team maps, the big ones, could not could not get a good feel for it. Um, you know, I didn't feel like I was like leading my bullets and stuff like that, which is you you know really fun. Um, you know, hit scan sniping is kind of boring. Um, you know, being able to sit there, line up a really clean shot that you can say like, well, you know, not everyone would have got that. You know, and everyone's like sees it and like, whoa, nice shot, man. Like, did not get that feel from it. And honestly, I think the crossplay is the issue. Um, because they have to balance of a PC and console, and crossplay is becoming a very big thing. Um, they have to kind of just nerf console. And I mean, I know they balanced things differently in Black Ops 4. Uh, what was it, that Outlaw and Koshka and that. They were a one shot to the chest and above on PC, but on console, you could go for the, like, stomach as well. And it, it was a world of difference. Um, you know, they sucked on PC, but on console, like, why wouldn't you use them, you know? Um, the Paladin was cool, but, yeah, and I mean, in Black, it was a different story as well, but for different reasons. But, so, yeah, like, the different balances, you know, that, that makes sense, but with crossplay, you can't really do that. You know, if, like, if someone's guns do more damage just because they're on a different console, because they plugged in a mouse and keyboard, that would feel really, really weird. Um, which I, I think is kind of the issue we've got here, is... The game is so, so much easier on PC. Um, and you know, I, originally I liked the idea of crossplay. Um, because on, on Black Ops, like, I could not get a game, eh? Waiting for Blackout and Oceanic servers, it, you know, it's, it's at least five minutes in, like, quads, even at the, like, release. Uh, and they got it on PS4, and, you know, it's... Instant, very very quick. Even even like later on in the lifespan, uh, it didn't take too long, which I quite liked. Um, so I, I see why they kind of have to do crossplay. Like, Oceanic PC is kind of dead. But the the issue with it is 
PC is just so much better. Um, and I, I'm a big fan of, you know, controllers. Um, I think they're so much nicer to use. I feel like the skill cap on them is, like, better. Um, because, like, once you can hit someone with a, like, mouse and keyboard, like, it's just easy, you just do it faster, but... Because control is harder to aim, I feel like it's better. Um, and it gives you the illusion of having more health. Uh, which was another thing I noticed, is in the alpha I felt like I had a lot more health. It was in the beta, I felt, you know, a bit closer to Modern Warfare, um, time to kill values. Now I've, I've heard this could have been a, a change, or maybe it was just facing a lot of PC players. So I'm not too sure. But overall, honestly, I like I like the Cold War gunplay more than Modern Warfare, but at the same time, I don't really like multiplayer that much. I definitely feel like I play COD more for the Battle Royale, and we we didn't get to see that. But going off of um, Warzone, it's probably going to be free anyway. So yeah, now depending on when it comes out, and I guess the uh, the guns and how you level them up. For that will be interesting because I've heard it's going to be roughly the same system. Um, that's what I understand at least. That it's basically you know Cold War Zone, uh, and then War Zone won't exist or something. So yeah, I don't know. But just for that, like I don't know if it's even going to be worth it. And like the multiplayer, it's better, but it's going to take a lot more than slightly nicer gunplay to make me buy it. So. <sighs> I don't know, it's not not doing good so far, honestly. Um, kill streaks though, I everyone's shitting on the system, but I really like it. I honestly, I, I think about things in terms of how I want the game to play. Um, so, Warzone's like a perfect example until it's Blackout. You know, in Blackout, you're very, you're kind of actually really safe running across a field. Um, at least that's how it felt for me, especially on PS4. Because, uh, like, sniping people, it's it's not an easy thing to do in that. Um, most people would run the Outlaw, because you get more shots off, it feels easier. And nothing's going to one-shot you aside from the Paladin. So, you felt very safe uh, just running across fields, so people did that. Whereas in Warzone, if you have to run across a field, you kind of feel like you're fucked. Um, you know, it's it's a massive risk and you're probably going to die. Whereas, I think if you've got more HP, it's pretty safe. You had grappling hooks as well in Blackout. Um, it, you know, always a lot of flashbacks and shit like that. Uh, the little radar darts, so, you know, you could see someone and they can hear it too. Nice counterplay there. Whereas in, in Warzone, you know, people have ghosts, people could be anywhere, you don't know, and so that changes how you play, um, just the tools you have. And so with kill streaks, you know, if you need to go on a 12 kill streak to get your thing or whatever, then when you get to, you know, 8 kills, you're like, oh shit, I'm pretty close, I'm going to start camping now, that kind of thing. Whereas uh, with the Cold War system, it doesn't really matter if you die. Um, you know, your average player, or your average, like, quite good player, you're probably going to get all your kill streaks once, um, or the higher ones you get once, maybe you, UAV, you get a couple of them a game, but you don't really think about that anyway. Whereas, you know, with the classic, uh, kill streak system, you could, you know, you could get three in one game, if it's a long game or whatever, and you play really well, but is, is that good for the game? Like, no, no one really likes just sitting under a, um, you know, AC-130 or something. And let's be honest, like, who, who changes classes to get anti-air shit? It's, you know, one in a hundred players is, like, that active about it. Um, you know, just run Ghost or something, I guess. But I, I like the system. I really, really do. Um, just because it doesn't incentivize camping. It incentivizes objective play. Now, I think it needs a bit of um, twisting on on the values of it, but I I personally quite quite like it a lot. And speaking of kill streaks, there's also the vehicles. Now I I played a lot of Ground War before Warzone came out, and you know I, I didn't use tanks all the time. I'm, I I want to do other shit, 
But they felt powerful, right? Like, if you had a guy who kind of knew what he was doing, you really felt like you could just take a new objective, really push past enemy lines. Uh, real, just real game changes, and the controls felt good. Um, you know, very just simple to use and understand. Big fan of that. Now in Cold War, oh, I don't know how they took such a step back so quickly. Um, the controls are so painful to use. It's unbelievable how they could fuck that up so hard. I um, I don't know what to say. It's feels so clunky it's just so much worse um but also they feel useless uh, now conceptually i quite like the idea of a barrel attachment that makes you do more damage uh fmj felt a bit outdated and you know it's it doesn't really do what it originally did i guess um you know back in the good old days you took fmj because you let <laughs> you shoot through walls a little bit better and apparently it gave you a damage increase, no one's really sure, but that's the word on the street. But, you know, in this, in Cold War, vehicles just fucking die to anything, you know? Um, and I mean, they instantly kill you, I'm um, thinking like the boats on the, on the map, like the three ships. Um, you know, you just die in a second to those. But I wouldn't say it's like fun to play against. Uh, it, it feels like shit, but... It also doesn't feel super impactful, and like I don't see anyone going in them, um, because I guess they're so readily available, right? Like, on the tank maps, there's like two or three on each team, and there's, I don't know how many boats, but it feels like there's a lot, and yeah, they, you can still like, you know, change the game with them, but if someone pays a little bit of attention to you, they just kill you. Um, like, vehicles are just shockingly easy to just shoot and kill, really. And, I mean, some of the kill streaks, really. Even, even more so, I'd say. Um, I had a game where we were just getting destroyed by a enemy chopper. And my friend just turns around and shoots it, and that's it. Which, yeah, cool, they should have counterplay. Uh, especially because everyone's gonna have them. But, it makes them feel much less impactful. And I guess it promotes like a feast or famine kind of uh, feeling to them. Where once you spawn trap someone with them, like you're just gunning down on vaguely where they're going to spawn. And they're only going to live for like, you know, a second or two or whatever. That's awesome. You're going to get a lot of value out of that. But if you don't get that straight away, they're going to just get shot down instantly. Because all it takes is someone looking at it for like five seconds. Which I, I just don't think is good game design. Um, you know, I want the kill streaks to have like a consistent value and I guess a right time to use. And the right time to use shouldn't be, oh, I can spawn trap them now. Um, you know, in any like objective game mode, it should be cool. I'm gonna corner chop a gunner, we're gonna take C. Um, or something like that, you know, which it doesn't happen too often in COD that you get that kind of. Thing, but that's the perfect scenario for it and in an ideal world that feels very impactful you know um what's the the lane map in ground war um it's a ripoff of a war zone map <sighs> promenade soup super like the worst map they've ever made but if someone does get a chopper gunner they just mow down the line and you, you know, you four or five cap them, and that's it. And if you've got them in the four cap, like, that's the kill streak you need to win the game. Or if they've got you in a four cap and you get that, it's like, cool, we can go and take two objectives or something and put ourselves back in the game. And that, that feels really good. But at the same time, having to spawn trap someone isn't the ideal scenario for these kind of things. And so when they're too easy to kill, they have to do a lot of damage, and then that's just, it just doesn't work well. So I, I like the you know I like the kill streak system, but I don't like the actual kill streaks. Um, and then there's the Sam turret, which I I think is cool, but it's very you know fire and forget. 
um, you know, you just put it down somewhere where there's like a vaguely open field and never think about it again. Um, which I guess you need because everyone has a UAV. Like, that's something I like. But, it's, the, you know, it's, you don't actively think about it. When you're making your class, you just think, because it's going to be, can I fit this in here or do I need something else? And, yeah, you can fit it in there, you don't need anything else. And then I'm not going to worry about killstreaks at all. That's, that's, like, that's just not good game design, really, I think. Um, and then there's, like, the perks as well. I'm very happy to see Ghost move into a more active kind of playstyle to make it work. Um, but other than that, I guess there's that assassin perk. But that doesn't really change anything. You just get more points for killing, you know, better players. Which I guess is a good player you should take. So you get your killstreaks faster because you get the extra points. But it, do it doesn't actually change your gameplay. Like, assuming it doesn't give you an extra kill streak, Which, I mean, there's, there's a chance that makes a difference, right? That you kill a, a you know, a high kill streak player, and it's like, cool, that gives me my chopper gun of, like, you know, 30 seconds earlier, and allows us to, like, save C, or just win the game, whatever. That, that That's cool, but, I don't know. Other than that, nothing really feels too inspired. Um... Equipment, I assume it's all just the same kind of stuff. Um, you know, just frag grenades. I assume they'll have like a throwing axe or knife or whatever. But nothing, nothing too interesting there. Are uh, the sights on the guns? I feel like the alpha didn't have it, but the beta gave us scope glint, which I quite liked seeing again. Um, you know, it's, you kind of need that counterplay, I feel. But... It, feel, it does feel a bit weird, like, all of sniping just felt weird, honestly. I, I mean, like, and you know, sniping should be bad in Modern Warfare because of your low health values, right? It's, you know, it's super easy to just beam someone at a distance. But it doesn't, it feels really good. Um, you know, just the bullet velocity, bullet drop, all that kind of stuff feel good. Whereas in this, where sniping should be strong, um, there's no aim assist, so it should be a higher skill thing just doesn't doesn't feel good uh, I suppose everyone's really talked about gun sounds yeah don't sound great but like you know I, I don't really care it, it doesn't matter to me and I don't think it matters to people as much as they think it does um, yeah like it sounds nice when you've got a real like meaty shotgun sound uh, that's cool but it, it, it's not a big deal so I, I think that wraps up just about everything I wanted to say um, and remember that, like, the Call of Duty, like, Pro League, they've, they've moved to PC for, um, Cold War. And I think this, this kind of signals a greater shift to PC in general for Call of Duty, which I'm not a fan of, I, I like consoles, but it is what it is, because they still use controllers, um, for their league. But, if you're, if you're a console player, or just in general, I guess, I don't, I don't know if this, this game's going to be worth it, honestly. Um, you know, I'm not talking about the bugs or the, like, just how unrefined it feels. I, I just don't think it's, it's good enough. Um, it just, it doesn't have that complete design feel. Uh, like, you know, Modern Warfare, it felt... Like, they had designed it exactly how they wanted it to be. Um, they're going for a gritty, realistic shooter. And you, you knew what you were getting into. It's, you know, and by realistic, obviously, it's Call of Duty still. But you die quickly, that's how it feels. Um, you chuck a grenade at someone, they die, it's like flak jacket. You've got these brutal kill streaks. it feels really good. Whereas this just, it just feels like regular Call of Duty things, you know, just... Oh, cool! It's the it's the Treyarch thing, and we've changed kill streaks, and we've changed attachments. But for you know, for the full price of this game, I I don't think it's worth it. Um, and I think most people have switched to kind of the battle royale, 
uh, modes, I guess, of Call of Duty, which I think are just far superior. And I'm assuming that's going to be free, or eventually will become free. I think it's worth holding out for that. But if, and I mean, you know what you're getting into of Call of Duty. You know, if you really like it, go for it, get it. But if if you do get it, I I think you you have to get it on PC. Um, I think they're kind of making clear with the sniper aim assist removal, and just the general gunplay that Call of Duty isn't. It's not a console shooter anymore. And I mean, I, I get that from a business point of view. People take PC games a lot more seriously. Um, you know, Call of Duty, like, it's not taken like a serious shooter. You know, people think CSGO and Call of Duty, oh, haha, I played that when I was a kid. And I guess they want to take it seriously and move to PC. So if, if you do, if you really want to get it and you've got a PC that can, like, half run it at, like, 30 FPS, I think it's going to be a much better experience for you. Because um, the crossplay is just feeling more and more forced, and I, you know, you're not going to get into games if you play on console, unless you're in like a, you know, prime hours in a very populated region. So you have to get it, get it on PC. Um, you know, it feels good. I've got a total toaster here. Could really cook a fucking toasted sandwich on it if I close the lid down when I'm running anything on it. But feels much better on PC so that's the go um thanks for watching I hope this has helped people out um just another thing I thought of is that, you know there was an open not open but I very, I very closed alpha for all the like streamer youtubers and I, I haven't watched too many I guess like review things of it but I've heard they were semi positive of like yeah it's it's Call of Duty it's worth it but like you know they they did get a um closed beta access like that's a bit of an incentive for them to say it's good guys because if they say it's bad it's like well next year you're not getting access to our closed beta um so just something to keep in mind if you watch like those kind of guys anyway thanks for watching